Hey, so it's been a minute since my last devlog, and I've been working on a lot of level design since then, including some puzzle mechanics. I made a physics-based button that can be used to open passages, as displayed in the gameplay that's being shown in the background right now. And while I hate to say it, this button actually took me about a month to make and get mostly functional. I spent about twice as long making a button than I did making an entire unique VR locomotion system. And the button still has some issues that need to be fixed. But it works for what I need right now, so I'm just gonna keep chugging away at level design. I also made a basic script that destroys certain objects when you collide with them, and this allows for some pretty neat level design in my opinion. At the end of the second level, I made this little parkour section which makes use of the game's super jump mechanic. To super jump, you essentially do the regular jumping motion by crouching and going up really fast, but in addition to this, you push off the ground with your arms. This sounds very simple, but can actually get pretty tricky to nail the timing, especially when you can't get a running start. I also made a third level, which uses super jump mechanic heavily. The third level has two paths, a top path, which is somewhat difficult to get up to, but is fairly simple once you get past the initial part, and a bottom path, which is simple to drop down to, but requires some additional steps to get to the exit. There are large pillars that you need to get to the top of in order to super jump into a small crevice, but this crevice is blocked off until you press a button, which is very high up on a wall. To hit the button, you need to super jump off of one of the pillars and push the button while in midair. When making the last part of this level, I noticed a couple of funny, um, features involving a thin wall. As you can see, you can grab both sides of the wall and hug it to ride up the wall like an elevator. I almost want to fix this bug, but it's actually pretty fun, so I think I'll just keep it in for now. Another funny detail I noticed is that since the legs are somewhat floppy, they spread around the edges of the wall when you walk on it, which is very entertaining in my opinion. As much as I wish I had more to show for this video, there's really not much else to show until I finish the decapitation, rework the grabbing system, or make another level, all of which I'm in the process of right now. But uh, until then, make sure you join the Discord using the link in the description so you can see more updates about the game, and maybe even subscribe to the channel so you can see when I post another devlog. Alright, see ya.